This is Albina. She used to be my neighbor. I've had her out fishing before, and she's a perfect person to use to demonstrate this acid wrap or spiral wrap rod. This one was the prototype that I built, and here I'm building the other ones. But she can show how easy it is to catch fish with this gear. Okay, what I'm trying to demonstrate here is why I built these rods. I've got 27 pound test lead core on a relatively small reel. Uh, this is a, a rogue rod that will handle anywhere from 12 to 20 pound, pound test line. So it's a relatively light action rod. Now I'm doing this so that I can take on some bigger fish using let's say a full size hoochie or a full size swimming plug. Now I want to be able to fish this so that people fight the fish standing up. You take on a 40 pound bass trolling standing up. The rod traditionally on a boat rod will want to torque one way or the other because all the guides are on top and the reel is on top. So it'll want to go to side to side and you have to hold onto the foregrip to keep that from happening. But with this spiral wrap rod because the last four guides are upside down in a sense it's like a spinning rod and therefore I can pull back putting a lot of pressure on this with um, just holding on to it with two fingers, just laying it in my hand in a sense, and I can tap the reel and it'll always come back to the center. So it's sort of always in balance. It's, I know it's subtle, but it's just one of those things that when you try to build a, a, a rod that can be handled easily by somebody that's a, a young kid or a woman who's small and handling a big fish, and it makes it easier on them. It's one more thing they don't have to worry. In other words, their forearm won't cramp up because they have to grab a hold of the rod so tightly. And that's one of the reasons I've done this. Mm -hmm. 